I'm going on a photography trip. I'm only taking one camera with me. The Leica R8 with two lenses. The 35mm Elmerit and the 24mm Elmerit. Both great lenses. The place I'm going is in the west fjords of Iceland. Specifically a village called Bildedalur. It is situated on the coast of Arnafjörður and has around 200 inhabitants. Now Arnafjörður is a large fjord in the remote west fjords region of Iceland and is incredibly beautiful. Bildedalur is a tiny village. It's one of my favorite places. It's picturesque and peaceful and it's remote and tranquil. And I have a very good friend who lives there. He owns a boat so I thought I would go and visit him and go exploring and take some photographs. The place we are going on the boat is a place called Girthjósfjörður. You can only get there by boat and it's supposed to be amazingly beautiful. It also has some historical significance as this is where the Icelandic Gísla saga was played out. Basically, the story of Gísli is a tragic hero type story. Gísli must kill one of his brothers-in-law to avenge another brother-in-law. Gísli is then outlawed and forced to stay in, on the run for 13 years before he is finally hunted down and killed. So, and he was killed where we are going today. This is the dock in Biltedalur. It's uh, very small. There's only a few boats. Um, it's basically local fishermen that have their boats here and there are no tourists or anything like this. It's a very isolated spot, very small. Now, Ivar is about to bring his boat. Uh, I have to say I was a little nervous when I first saw the boat. It's very small. So it, uh, I was kind of nervous, but uh, Ivar reassured me that everything would be fine and, and it indeed was. way through the fjord I noticed um, an abandoned building and I was informed that it's uh, an abandoned farm called Steinanes and this abandoned farm was maybe abandoned about 20 or 30 years ago you can't get there by road there's no roads or anything you have to get there by boat so we decided to stop and have a look so um, we did and uh, I'm really happy that we did and I managed to take some pictures that I'm really happy with uh, yeah, they turned out really well, very happy with them. So here we're well on our way um, towards Gerthiosfjörður and we're, we're starting to maybe 5-10 minutes away. There's just so much beautiful nature so I couldn't help but stop and take some pictures. I took pictures of some birds and the landscape and you know, the light was beautiful. Using my uh, Leica R8 with a 24mm lens, it, it just it's a, it's a fantastic lens and it's a fantastic camera. It's my uh, friend getting up the fishing pole. Here is Arna Fjordur to the back of the boat. This is where we came from. And here we suddenly spotted some minky whales. So uh, there you go, you see them jumping. Uh, I think they 
I just we saw them these two times and don't think we saw them again. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Here we're in the fjord, Gerthumsfjord, and we're approaching. There's no one there, it's just us. It's just me, Ivar, and the boat. There's no one there. There are no roads, there are no people, there are no... There's, not, there's nothing there, no one goes there. So we made it safely to land, everything went smooth. There Ivar is just securing the boat so it doesn't go floating away when we go on our trip. And now we start our journey to walk into Gerthjörsfjörður. And there is of course nobody there, it's tranquil and peaceful and beautiful. our destination but as I looked back towards where we came from I noticed a seal so I took a picture of it if you see the small dot in the middle of the picture that's the seal it was just there chilling yeah and I had to cross the river I didn't have any boots or anything so I just had to take my shoes off and wait it's freezing picture of my feet, why not? This is a house that someone's built there. It's not abandoned, but there is, it's in private ownership and it doesn't look like it's visited a lot, so... Yeah, I'm gonna look at that. I flew the drone over to get a better look and you can... Yeah, it's pretty cool. So here we're basically, we've arrived, it's really beautiful. 
I had to, of course, uh, to get further into the fjord, I had to cross a little bridge there, with a little balancing act. And wait again. It's freezing. Five millimeter lens on now. One beautiful thing about Iceland at this time of year is that it's all the countryside is pretty much covered in blueberries, and they are the most delicious blueberries. And these ones in this fjord were the best ones that I've ever had. Time to start heading back to the boat. day and managed to get some great pictures from the fjord and the pictures on the way back were um, also some of the favorites that I took on that day. <laughs> 